women's expectations are ridiculous and there's no pleasing. Now, this is not all. So I'm going on years of data that I've collected. And at the end of the day, it can be challenging working with women with not the right expectation. Everybody wants to come to me because they want this high six, seven, eight figure dude, right? Why do they want him? Because of the lifestyle, because what they're looking at is he matched my fly, meaning he has the money that I have. He have the things that I have or he can, you know, he, he's that guy. Right. Let me pause you. You're going to come we're gonna come back to that. You got you got to have a certain kind of gravitas mm -hmm. to deal with a high earning mm -hmm. man, because most of the time these high earning men. They don't have a lot of high earning time. Yes. They don't. Yes. They're, they're, they're busy. They're working there. I mean, it's, it's tough. And so, and, mm -hmm. and if you don't have nothing significant going on for yourself, th that will be the worst decision that you have made Thank in you. your chocolate life. Thank you. So here's the deal. Ooh, Aside from just the whole relationship piece, I know we we as men, we have a lot of desires and we have a lot of wants. But the comparison thing to me that I see a lot of women uh, having, because a man can do it, we should be able to do it as well. Yeah, I'm a woman that believes that, that in that, that, that messes me up a little bit because I'm like, I, no, I, get it. No, I, don't, I don't think so. And is it hypocritical? Probably so. Probably but so. I'm okay, I'm okay with double standards. Say more. I'm okay with double standards because y'all the double standards allow y'all to do more for us than we do for you. So I'm okay <laughs> with double mm, standards. I love it. I, Ooh, I'm, I love I, it. I'm, I'm okay with it because here's the deal. Mm. I don't want to be able to just, I mean, I can go sleep with whoever I want to. I can do that. But women have fought for sexual freedness, openness for years. And at the end of the day, even as how free you are, Dude still is like, I don't want my girl out there like that. We've tried to fight that fight. It just ain't changing. And it's just like, it's not going to change that we want y'all to take care of us. Double standard. I don't care. Mm. I'm okay with it. Because it put more on y'all to do <laughs> than me to do. <laughs> if you mean the only double standard is I'm going to be looked at crazy if I go sleep with a bunch of dudes. But yet, the, double, the other standard is you should be able to protect and provide for me. I'll take that. Mm. Like, I, like... I know how to choose my battles. I don't need to feel as though it has to be equal. I don't, I don't care about that. I am 100% okay with double standards because as the woman, if you smart, you get more with the double standard that we have on y'all than y'all have on us. People, you don't hear people talking like this. <laughs> oh, you're definitely women. You don't hear women talking like this. This is good. They're not, they're not looking at what they're actually gaining. But the woman today is different. <laughs> I mean, she's extremely different. And I'm not on the whole, I, maybe I'm a part of the manosphere, but I'm not a part of the manosphere that I'm seeing on online. Yeah. Just, that, they, they, that's a lot of boy stuff. They be doing that's, too that's, much. That's a lot of male stuff, not man stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I think because um, they exile women. I'm like, so now I'm looking at you crazy. You talking but, about exiling women? But women would be exiling men too. It's, it's like it's, it's it's that both thing. But I'm th I'm saying to you that what I feel like is the 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 louder you are and the harder you come at a um, pause, nigga. Damn. Okay. Woo. <laughs> that will not see the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> that will not see the light of not day. Not the harder you go. The harder you go. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Well, um, so uh, I feel like the 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 harder your approach is towards either sex, mm -hmm. that's how that's how your 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 following is gonna yeah. really follow you. So yeah. like if you mm -hmm. if you cussing them out, mm -hmm. then they'll be like, yeah, because a lot of people out here are hurt. Yes. A lot of hurt men. Yes. A lot of hurt women. Yes. And if they feel like you are punching that person in the face and you're being disrespectful and you're being rude to them, get them. I got you. I rocks with you. Yes. I always say you will always know the character of a leader by their followers. Always. That's tough. Always. Oh, that's tough right there. Always, April, always. April. You will all I don't need to know you. April. All I need to know is check out your followers. All I need to know is check out your followers. I, I can tell the, oh. ener the energy of your followers tell me everything I need to know about you. I don't have to sit down with you. Wow. I look oh, at your followers. So much. Oh, that says so much.
I like it. So people have always asked me to do these, um, like what we're doing now, you know, doing collabs and doing these interviews with certain people. And I look at their followers. Mm. And that will be my that will be my determining factor. Because mm. you're not going, you're going to tell me anything you want to tell me to get me on your show or do your interview or your podcast, whatever. I want to see what your followers are looking like. Because that mm. right there is going to tell me what and who you are. And I people, like right. when they come to my social media page, it's very zen. You don't get no riffraff. You seldomly get anybody push a whole lot of pushback. And my audience, men and women, be like, nah, don't don't fool with Miss April, because that ain't what we that we ain't we ain't about that over here. That's the energy. Yeah. I can always tell. Like I accidentally did a collab a couple years ago with a young lady. And accidentally. I accidentally I, I I didn't do my research. This is how I came to it. I didn't uh -huh. do my research. And when I did the collab, I start getting some of her followers. And they were bitter chicks mm. my women followers are not like i can always tell by looking at my social media my people i know my people they're not argumentative they're mm. not loud they're not they're they're open now we we will get an influx now i went viral <laughs> over the last couple of days and followers from other people that are more rah-rah have come over i can tell that energy I, my page is a, it has a particular energy. It's very zen. I'm not one sided, you know. So when I get people coming over there, all the other stuff, oh, such and such referred me to you. I could tell. So let's look at what you said. You said you were closing your dating academy, and you. This is basically the the caption was why you're closing your dating academy and getting out of the business of helping women in this way. People want to know the same reason I closed my matchmaking service in 2013. So it'd be great for you to explain that. Well, what had happened was <laughs> women's expectations are ridiculous and there's no pleasing. Now this is not all. And you got to remember, I've been in this business for over 10 years. No sweeping so, generalizations. I get it. So this is not somebody that just showed up on the internet. I probably, if I'm the number one black woman, just black person, period, mm. that's been in the game consistently with this across the board. So I'm not a YouTuber that just came up the last couple of years or not, or Instagrammer. Nah, I'm new to this. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this, yeah. right? So I'm going on years of data that I've collected. And at the end of the day, it can be challenging working with women with not the right expectation. Everybody wants to come to me because they want this high six, seven, eight figure dude, right? Why do they want him? Because of the lifestyle, because what they're looking at is he matched my fly, meaning he has the money that I have. He has the things that I have, or he can, you know, he, he's that guy, right? Let me pause you. You're going to come, we're going to come back to that. Let me tell you this. Why you got to do your mouth like that? Because you got to have, because <laughs> you, you got to have a certain <laughs> kind of, you got, you got to have a certain kind of gravitas mm -hmm. to deal with a high earning mm -hmm. man. Because most of the time, these high earning men, they don't have a lot of high earning time. Yes. They don't. Yes. They're, they're busy. They're working. They're, they're, I mean, it's, it's tough. And so, and, mm -hmm. and if you don't have nothing significant going on for yourself, th that will be the worst decision that you have made <sighs> in you. your chocolate life. Thank you. So here's the deal. Women come to me for that a lot of times because those are the type of men that I tend to attract. And it's, ever, it's been that way ever since I was in the eighth grade. It was mm. always the more popular, the um, more influential, the more powerful man. I didn't know what I carried back then as a grown woman. I get it now and why that is. Because those guys, they want the feminine energy. They want a woman. They don't need you for your money, your car, the fact that you are a part of a sorority. None of that matters to them. They want what you can be to them and they will give you the world. I always say a woman who wants for nothing gets everything. Mm -hmm. And so I was used to wonder why do every time I look around, my, my daughter be laughing. She said, Ma, you have all of the high power dudes in your DMs with them blue checks. She'd be like, Mama, you gonna go out with this? I was like, oh no, I, I don't be paying it no mind she, like she, that. She, she all up in you? No, no. If I'm sitting there and she'd be like, Mama, is that? It's like, girl, go ahead. I said, your, I said, your mama hot, girl. Your mama <laughs> hot, girl. But I understand what those men are coming to me for. They don't yeah. come to me in a sexual or trying to run game manner. Their conversation with me is different. And a lot of women want, I want a Barack Obama. I want a, um, what's his name? I want a, uh, 
Russell Wilson. I want a George Clooney. I want the, you know, those kind of guys, right? I want an Elon Musk. You don't know the back end. Honey, let me tell you. They don't know. They don't man. know. When I tell you, they don't know. And that's why I said what I wrote in that post about kill the boy, the man will show up. Mm-hmm. They think because these men were ambitious and were able to, ambitious and we were able to accomplish something that they're grown men. No, mm. they're not. Mm. So as a woman that have gone through this since I was a little girl, well, well, junior high school, what I've gathered with those men, you have to be a woman that's okay with dealing with the very insecure man mm. behind the scenes. You have to be a woman that's okay when you see him on stage doing his thing for the world. And you'd be like, that's my boo. To know when he get back in that green room. I did okay. Every time there was yeah. one, I think I told you that I was seeing, and um, every time he would get on stage, he would kill. I'd be like, "You better do that!" The crowd is going crazy, and he's everything that we see on television and his music. Everything would be like, "Yes," but for me, I knew that was the persona. But but you know what? Honestly, it's like because you know us the most. Mm-hmm. Your word means the most to us. Yes. And I tell you this, he was doing a recording and um, for a show and he was singing and I was there while they were recording it. And I noticed every time they would say, okay, stop. We're going to do that again. He would look at me and I'm like, better go ahead then. But I understand what that look was. Right. So at the end, he wanted to do something a particular way. And he was explaining to them, the, the, the uh, camera crew and everything, what he wanted to do. But he was looking at me the whole time. He's explaining to them over here, but he's looking at me. And I'm like, I said, I like that. I said, he said, well, yeah, because that's a good idea. I said, that's, I said, that's an amazing idea. And I said, you know what? You know, y'all better, y'all better just do what he say, because he know what he's talking about. Mm. That was it. After he did this performance, we got to the green room and he gave me the biggest hug. And I'm like, what's that for? And I'm like, you all sweaty and whatnot. And I'm like, what was that for? He's like, thank you. I said, what? I said, thank me for what? He said, thank you. He said, just thank you. He said, just thank you. And that's all he kept saying was, thank you. And I said, okay. I said, well, you're welcome, darling. I never questioned it. I never asked what that meant. I knew what it meant because I saw the little boy, me validate the little boy in him while he's on stage. And the world loves this man. It's like to see... The contrast, you have to be a woman that can handle that part. Mm. You want these high profile men. And so growing up, dealing with the star football player and my kid's father played for Ohio. So the ESPN, seeing all that, but me being not even knowing at 1920, I'm dealing with a broken, not necessarily broken, but an insecure. I know who I am to the world, but, you know, am I good enough? You have to be able to deal with that. But women, basic chicks, I call them basic Bettys. They'll say, well, he need to get that fixed. No, the woman that you're being to him. I did nothing for this man as far as doing. I was just sitting in the audience on the sideline. They're filming. He's doing his thing. He's killing it. And every time they say, okay, we're going to move on to the next song. I'm like, you better do that. You did that. I'm like that hype woman on the side. Everybody was laughing. And he was just like, what you? I was like, hush. And just go do the song. Go sing the song. Sing the song for the yeah. people. Let them know you're here, honey. That was it. <laughs> and from that point on, we were there for about an hour and a half. Mm. But I noticed, kept looking at me. What it reminded me of is something he had shared with me in his past. He said, even when I was a young boy, and no matter how hard I sung, my mom would always find a way to make it not right. Mm. What I remember that in that moment that he looked at me for validation. Mm. It wasn't that he's not a man. It was that little boy, that that little boy wounding mm-hmm. that was still there to a 50, almost 50 year old man. Let me help you out. Sometimes the boy can ask what the man never would. Oh, that's good. And if you see the boy showing up sometimes, mm-hmm. man, feminine energy, maternal, whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. If you respond correctly. Mm-hmm then you will get that man. And that's what started to happen. Um, so after that, he gave me this hug and he, and I didn't question what the was. He was just like, man. thank you, thank you, thank you. Wasn't my, see, that's what we got to understand. It ain't your job to figure out all of the details. He's appreciative to whatever it is that I am being. Mm. I did nothing mm. but showed the crap up and be supportive. I didn't do anything. 
we went to go get something to eat. And one day we were having this conversation. He didn't live in, in, in Atlanta. And we were having this conversation about old toys, right? And um, okay, well, old well, toys. I, mean, I guess we're going down. We, we not, not, not nasty toys, not, going, not oh, sex toys. Okay, I wouldn't sure. Toys. And he, he said, um, he said, yeah, because I remember I want some sock and boppers and this and that and the third. And then <laughs> we start talking about it. And then he introduced me to a singer that I fell in love with, old school, right? Uh. And so I could tell he was not used, because of him being a celebrity, he's used to doing He's not used to people doing for him. Mm. So what I did was I said, okay, we don't live in the same area. And I no, wait, wait, tell me that. Because so typically celebrities are used to people doing stuff for them. Not in their romantic relationships. They're not. Thanks. Um, but, oh, that's, let me, remind me to get back to that. Okay. But go ahead. So what happened was I said, okay, we're going to try to date. I normally don't do long distance, but let's, let's try it. So I, the person that he's introduced me to, I found a song that she had and I took the lyrics of the song. I put them on a piece of paper. I didn't write who it was. And of course I put my perfume and everything on it. Oh. And I did put a pair of panties in, in the, in the little envelope. Very, very fast, Miss Mason. I am. Very I was, fast. You know, I, I believe in keeping the, the, the intrigue and the okay. spice, right? Yeah. And I mailed it to him. Oh. And I got a phone. USPS. Yes. And I got a, a phone call from him. And he said, Don't none of my boys get no grown woman gift like that. Ooh. But he didn't what 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 it was was it had nothing really to do with the gift as much as he saw I heard him. And I took the fact that you you introduced me to this singer. Mm. I took interest in what you were interested in. And I one that was my way of saying I heard you, but I was keeping it sexy at the same time, too. Mm. Right? So we would do little things like that for each other. And then one day we were talking about the sock and boppers and I could tell that little boy in him. I could tell it was, it was trying to, he, he was healing, right? Not because of what I was doing, but who I was You was being. being, yeah. So once again, I heard you. So he gives me a call. He said, I cannot with you. I said, what are you talking about? He said, when you coming out, we, I'm about to fly you, in, fly you in town. I said, why you want to fly me down? He said, I got them damn sock and boppers and we got to play. I can't even believe that you sent them to, it was 1999. Wow. The little boy. Oh, wow, wow. Killed the little boy mm. and the man will show up. All right. So I got to ask you this. Um, where he at now? What happened was, <laughs> no, what happened? This, and, and it was good. It was good. Okay. Because. This is what I mean by being a wise woman and knowing when someone is ready to heal and when they're not. Mm. So although all of this happened and I was testing it to see, you know, okay, cool. He wasn't ready to go to the healing next place. Mm. And it became, it switched over into, I started feeling like a counselor mother. As the moment I felt that I knew I had to back away. Oh, That's what a wise woman does. She don't keep trying to grind it out with you like that. So I pulled away. And then, you know, he, some things had happened and, he, you know, he said, April, you're the only, par you're the only human that knows half the story. And there was some stuff he wasn't ready to share with me at mm. that point. And That's why we need counseling, though. Yes. I mean, what, did he, did he have a counselor? Um, he was, when he was going to counseling and I, well, I found out that he, um, he said, yeah, cause I tell him, I talk to my counselor about you all the time. I didn't know that. We weren't even dating at the time, but being friends for so long, I was the one he would always confide in. And I listened to him, even though I, ain't, sometimes I didn't get it. Thank you for listening. And so mm. that's what I mean by when being a wise woman, a wise woman is know when to retreat, right? He wasn't ready. There were some things that he had to deal with on his own. My thing was, I showed you something di different that was available to you, right? So he will forever have that. And he did call me and say, you know, you will never know what you did for me. He said, one day I might tell you, but the things that I don't know about women you don't laugh at me. You actually taught me. And that was that. I know who you're talking about now. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. So wow. with that, that wow. was that experience. But it wasn't meant for me to be in a relationship with you mm. when it was time for you to do. I, got, I helped you. My presence did whatever it did for you. But this is what you got to handle on your own. So mm. that's what I mean by yeah. a wise on, woman knows when to retreat. She's not going to sit there and continue to try and work it out. I'm trying to be a ride or die. No, no. 
when you that move was made, the the woman in me knew, okay, now this I can nurture. I'm not mother. I'm not counselor. And so that was that. But women don't know when that moment happens, when to it's time to leave. Then they get mad because they stayed because I was I didn't want to leave him during this time. What the hell? I, I don't know what you don't want to <laughs> because that means you don't love yourself because oh. that person is not going to be able to give anything back to you. Yeah. I love myself enough to know I'm 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 going to be somebody's wife, somebody boo, somebody's princess, mm. queen sometime, but more princess. And I'll explain the princess to you real quick. The princess, people comes to the aid of the princess faster than they come to the aid of the queen. Oh, my. When you think about the queen, you don't think about anybody that need assistance. Every, the queen normally, when she rules, she rules with an iron fist. Wow. You don't look at the queen as someone soft and gentle or even a damsel. You look at the queen as, I don't want to piss her off. I want to make sure everything cool. You know, I, I, I reverence her, but I'm a little afraid of her at the same time, too. The princess. Daddy will go against the queen to make sure the princess, daddy's little girl, is taken care of. Well, mommy said I couldn't have no ice cream. Oh, you daddy's little princess. Don't tell mommy, but I'm going to give it to you. Mm. Everybody want to be the queen and wonder why nobody comes to their rescue. Because the queen has it all together. Wow. The princess, wow. she needs a little bit more assistance and she can get it because men are wired to serve, protect, provide, and make happy. The queen, she don't get what the princess gets. Wait a minute. You, you, you're on to something. You, you're on to something. I, I don't know if I was tracking you at first, but you're right. What I do for my daughter, the princess, oftentimes that comes out of Sheer desire. Desire. Sheer want to. Exactly. Queen is duty. Duty. Some want to, but more duty. More duty. Man, man for the duck. Because they know how to, man, that princess know the how princess, to praise. The prince, princess know how to praise. Mm. The princess knows how um, to respect. Mm. The princess know how to give you those eyes and say, daddy. And, and oh, yeah. daddy. You know, daddy, that doesn't make me happy. She knows how to do that. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll drown a glass of water behind our princess. Like, You're right. Well, baby, your mama said, I know, daddy, but that doesn't make me happy. That's terrible that you that you just got that on the ready and you can do that so well. That's awful. <laughs> that's, 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 I'm, I'm shamed. I'm shamed. I'm almost like, what'd they do? <laughs> let, me, let me tell them. <laughs> All right, so you, so you, you talk about these uh, high-value mm -hmm. uh, relationships and what have you that you're in that you've been in before and the different kind of guys. Mm -hmm. Let me go here. Cause it's personal. You can answer it, not answer it. Um, but let me ask it. Let me, let me come around the back way a little bit. So oh, you Lord. say there, there, I'm starting to notice that there are some women who are celebrating high body counts. And when I say high body counts, mm -hmm. I mean, sleeping with a lot of men. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I guess the, I guess the liberation of it, I can, and this is the comparison part. Mm -hmm. Guys do it. Why can't we do it? Mm -hmm. The double standard. The double yeah. standard yeah. part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, but one thing I know about you, I don't know, no, mm -hmm. but I suspect about you mm -hmm. is that no, no, you, you guard, you guard the promised land tremendously. Absolutely. And just because you see me with them, it don't mean, yes. you know, none, none of that's happening. And that's how I live my life. People see me with um, high powered men all the time. Um, and they don't, what they don't realize is majority of the time, those are my clients mm. that I'm helping them work through their stuff, showing them how to pick better women you behind sleep with the your scenes. clients. No, I don't sleep with my clients. And the thing is, with that, I'm I, so guarded. I take pride in being able to walk into a room full of men that can, and I can say, oh, no, ain't nobody in here had that. Mm. I love that. And we love it too. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We love it too. And so for people that say you have a right to do it, you're absolutely right. I do. You have a right to choose your choice, but you can't say nothing about the consequences because you, right. you have no choice in that matter. And, and the thing is, I don't, it's not even about what people say. For me, it's energy. I'm very energy sensitive. Mm. And because I know a lot of these men that I'm around are broken men, broken little boys, mm. I don't want that energy inside of me. Literally. Literally. Pretty good. I don't want that transference. 
So although, yes, I can sit with you, we can talk, we can kiki, and you might even flirt with me or all, and I flirt back with you. That's it. When's your uh, birthday? June 26th. Can oh. Gemini. Gemini. I'm a Gemini. I go by sidereal astrology. I don't go by Western astrology. I have no idea what that means. I'll have to tell it to you later. But Sidereal? It's called sidereal. And when I tell you, it made me make so much sense. I didn't find out about it until about two, two years ago. And when she did my 13, my chart, a 13 point natal chart, KD, I almost hit the floor. It was like, I ain't never seen that like so what it. So what does the regular chart say you it's, it's, The regular chart says I am a cancer, but I never identified with a cancer. Are you on the cusp of something? No. It's just Western astrology is normally always a um, zodiac behind. So most people that think they are a particular thing, they're not. I'm not a Virgo under any what? circumstances. I'm a Libra, hands down. I got all the characteristics when's and everything. You, when's your birthday? October 2nd. October 2nd. So, you, 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 so you're, not, you're not a... You said you're not a Virgo. No, I don't have none, none of the Virgo traits. But here's the thing. There's multiple traits because you got. So my 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 sidereal is Gemini sun, Capricorn moon. My Virgo is in Leo. Uh, my, my Leo. No, my rising is in Virgo. My Leo, my um Venus. That's how you love. You know, it, you took this way too is deep. It, and I is in Leo. No I'm going to have to explain it to you. I'm going to have to explain it to you, friend. I'm, I'm, and I'm a, I'm, I just want you to, to just to see. Did but, I just become the gay best friend? No, no. Because when you said friend. friend. It no, because we've been. Really, no, we've yeah, been friends I know, I know so but long. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm triggered. I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm, okay, I'm, okay. I'm, okay. I'm going to tell you, friend. No, <laughs> okay. ma'am. No, okay, we're not. Okay, Mr. Man Up community. <laughs> there you go. Come on, my God. Okay, friend. Not, no, no, no. Not, not, no, 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 no. No, no ma'am. that was we've been friends so long. That's what that was. I got you. All right, yeah. But. But it made me make sense to me. So what happened was when I started going on my journey to find out who April was, yeah. I wanted to find out all the different parts, even, even stuff that I wanted to just see, you know, okay, I don't really know much about Zodiacs and all that, but they say this. So let's see. I want to know more about me from the sensual aspect and, and learning more about this feminine energy and all that. Let me, so I was just finding different things to put me together um, and make me make sense to me because I was not a cancer. One minute, I'm like, I'm Hollywood, but most of the time I want to go live on a bunch of land mm. <laughs> and have a little farm, have my own little, you know, uh, be self-sustaining. I like that kind of living. Like, so I used to wonder what is this duality would be? Why is one minute I can go hit a stage and I can kill it. But as soon as I get off the stage, it could be 10,000 people. Honey, can we go to uh, uh -huh. I'm immediately I switch out of that mm. and I want to go, you know, I went like yesterday, I went to pick flowers. I go flower picking. I go strawberry picking. But yet my career requires me to be Hollywood sometime. Mm. Mm. But that's just what I do. So I used to wonder what is wrong with me? I got this duality. And that's when I found out I'm actually more of a Gemini. I didn't know mm. Gemini's had that duality like that. You do got cancer personality traits as well, though. Like what? Like how you are with your family. Oh man, you are a whole well, different. You I a am whole a beast mood. with that. Yeah, you yeah, a whole but, mood. That's that, most cancers are like that. Mm. Very, very, very protective. Very, yeah. definitely family people. So yes, because my very family people oriented people, but I have a lot of Pisces in my chart too. They're like that as well because they there are water signs with the cancer. So here's this. This is how I knew it was on point. This is how I knew it was on point. Mm -hmm. How I am in business. People with Capricorn in their charts, they're considered the goats. They are business savvy people. That made sense to me. I didn't know that the reason why I'm so able to talk about this whole femininity and I understand and can break it down, I didn't know that Pisces is predominantly all about the feminine. I had no idea at all. And so it made sense to me. It's like, wait a minute. So I'm able to flow in this, not just be hilarious. Most but of the Pisces I know, they are women. They are they are very feminine. Very, it's the yeah. fem, it's it's one of the it's the feminine sign, and so it made sense why I do what I do. I didn't find that part out until earlier this year about the Pisces. I'm like, oh my god! So I have Pisces everywhere. So although I'm not a Cancer, Cancer and Pisces are water signs. So mm. I still flow all in that with the family and being the softer, gentler, but I can be rah-rah, you know, if I need to, you mess with my family. I, I can be about that life, yeah. but I don't reside there. You don't live there. Okay. So it just uh, made sense. That was a little, so, little nugget. All right. Well, nugget. So getting back to the, the whole uh, high body count, mm -hmm. a lot, I hear a lot of uh, people, not a lot, because, you know, I ain't really in those circles like that. Yeah. But I feel like 
I want just explain to me or, or let's discuss the part of why a high, I don't even want to say that because it sounds so elementary of a question, but the reason why a man would not want to be involved with someone that's got a high body count. And even if we know, like, as, as if we know, like for me personally, if I'm into you, I don't need to hear about that, quite frankly. <laughs> I don't need to hear about that. I, don't, I want that. I, mean, I, I get we all got a past. Yeah, but I don't want to know about that part of I it. Don't want to hear, I don't want to hear about that. Personally, yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Like, I'm the kind of guy that, yo, I'm not going to go through your phone ever. Yeah, me, I, that's me too. Ever. I'm not going to go through your phone. If it's happening, if it's happening, either you're going to cut that shit off or move on. Yep. Go somewhere else. Yeah. But if, if if it happened in the past, no, don't bring me. Because that's one guaranteed way that I'm going to cut it right there. Because mm -hmm. uh -uh. if I know, I know. Yeah. And I don't want to know. Yeah. Right. I believe it goes back to what we talked about earlier, the double standard. Mm. Although we can and we should be able to have a sex with as many dudes as we want to because sex is not just for procreation. We like pleasure too, which is why mm. we have a clitoris. The clitoris, ha clitoris have no other job than to bring the up what pleasure. Now? I'm sorry. The clitoris the, has okay, the way you said it was no other up. job. Oh but to bring us pleasure. Mm. So why do we have to not have the pleasure mm. just because society deems it wrong? We ain't, we weren't just here to just be making babies. Mm. Although I understand that. I understand how society has made it too. Mm. So it's interesting that a man wouldn't want a woman with a large body count, but he didn't put body counts on other women. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I always tell dudes, y'all want to protect your daughters, but, what makes you think your daughter is exempt when you was out here hoeing like everybody else? And I'm going to tell you something. I'm gonna, to that point, I think men need to have DD, dick discipline, of course, I yeah. gotta say it. If, because not just so much that it, what a woman wants or doesn't want is because exactly what you said, you got to protect that energy. Mm -hmm. Because I'm telling you something, you open yourself up to certain things and then this woman you're supposed to be with, she's the best fit for you. And you got all of these memories in your head about what it used to be and what great is and how this was. And because mm -hmm. there's if you because at some point you sleep with so many women, you got a woman that's a this. You got a woman that's a this. Man, you got a woman that oh, she is and this one over here, man. She gives the great ooh. And it becomes your you you create this Voltron that you can never cr have created in one person. Mm -hmm. So it's best to, I get it. We I, we like to have sex. We like to do a lot of things. But to preserve yourself, your mental stability, your strength, mm -hmm. there's a reason why when when uh, when boxers preparing to fight, mm -hmm. they abstain from sex. Mm -hmm. That's a strength. Mm -hmm. It's a strength. It is. So instead of giving your power away, because you can, mm -hmm. it's like a quiet strength is a man who knows that he possesses all of this, but he's going to gift it to the right person. Oh, I said that the other. I actually wrote a post that I didn't post, and I and I said. The sexiest thing to me is a man with dick discipline mm. because that means he values himself. He values the, the, the energy that he gives and he values the type of woman that he would give himself to. Mm. I love that because at the end of the day, just I said a man that has power just in general, a person that has power shows me the power when they have access and they choose not to. Very good. That's the power right there. Very good. I'm like, that's dude. That's a sexy dude to me mm -hmm. right there. It's like, okay, I can trust you to have dick discipline mm -hmm. because you value you enough. That goes back to that self-love stuff. Yeah. A lot of guys, they don't have self-love. I've heard guys say, yeah, man, it wasn't smelling right, but I hit it anyway. You don't love yourself. <laughs> you don't love yourself. You ran by your penis. You don't love yourself. Dear God, really? Oh God. Yes. I've heard, I've heard them stories. Quite a it bit. didn't smell right, but I did it anyway. <laughs> yes, I've heard that quite a bit. That yes. is the most, nasty. that's the nastiest thing I have probably heard. I've been living a long time. I'm 49 years old. That's the nastiest thing I heard in my life. That's disgusting. Yeah, I've heard it. and uh, But this is not uncommon. That's why, why do you think men have so many um, vagina smelling stories? They wouldn't know if they wasn't up in it. Mm. I mean, I, I, when I was younger, yeah, I mean, I was... I wasn't no quiet. That was nasty. Uh, no, no, I wasn't that nasty. <laughs> let, let's, let's, let's be abundantly clear. Let's be clear. I wasn't that nasty. But I'm saying I, I did a lot of stuff, but I honestly, for me, I didn't get as much out of it as like somebody else did because I wasn't looking for that. Mm -hmm. I wasn't just looking for that. I wanted, I was looking for affirmation. I was looking for somebody to see me. 
Uh-huh. And I guess I guess I've been like that. Yeah. Like all my life. Hey, do you do you see me? Or do you see what I can do for you? Mm-hmm. How I can make you feel. Yeah. I got standing ovations in some categories. Yeah. That ain't none of your business. Uh, but I'm gonna do that. I, I, I wasn't even gonna ask that. Was standing, they were standing up, huh? Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. 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 Uh, you know, <laughs> but but <laughs> um the, but the truth is, man, I, what I wanted was to to be seen. Mm-hmm. And if you see me, and, and a lot of guys are like that. A lot of guys, honestly, they want to be seen beyond the, but we, I know we have to show you was, something uh, different. Uh, we're getting ready to get there because what and happens. That requires a different level of healing. Exactly. Because a lot of men, they lead with their wallets and their penis, but you want me to see you, but this is what you peacocking me with. Yep. But what, okay. So, so, okay. Why is, why then were you able when somebody led with theirs, mm-hmm. why were you able to see beyond it? That's. First of all, I'm a different kind of woman, darling, first and foremost. But I, but the thing is, like I said, for me, this has been going on since I was in the eighth grade. And I think God has just given me a particular gift because mm. I, can't, I can't tell you why. Mm. Um, if I walk in a room full of men, within a few minutes of our conversation, I can pinpoint where his hurt is. I can mm. tell by how his movement and with the things that he says, I can't tell you how mm. I just believe that God gives wisdom to who chooses to. Like I always say, TD Jakes ain't never been a woman, but he sure as hell know how to show us how to get loose. It's just a gifting that God has give certain people and a certain really level of wisdom. Applied to that one. That was hilarious. I, I'm just saying. So with that, I don't, I can't, I don't know. I mm. really, I really don't know, but I do know I am an empath. I do know that I'm a healer and not by anything that I'm doing. I do know that I have the ability to see straight through a person and it scares a lot of men. I get a lot of men to run away from me. <laughs> we, we, sh- we share, I'm going to tell you something. We share a lot of the same um, similarities. Um, and that is that, yeah, I mean, most guys can kind of see through you like a bottle of aqua, at, at least the guys that are self-aware. Mm-hmm. But I'm, yeah, I'm a little different with that as well. Mm-hmm. Which is why if I have a, a conversation with you, a real conversation, don't take me long. It works great with men. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. man, I'm mm-hmm. like, man, spot on. It don't take long. Yeah. Women, it takes me a minute. Okay. Because I got to get past that whole, because I'm not authentic a lot of times with women. Okay. Because got to. Yeah. Eh, easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah. You don't never know who getting close to you for right. whatever reason they're getting close. Right. But if I know you, I guess, a safe space, then that thing will turn on. Yes. Yep. And I can see you. I can see you. And I, I see more than I say because mm-hmm. a lot of people can't handle that. Mm-hmm. But I think that, is that something, well, I don't know if it can be taught. I'm asking you a question. Is that something can be taught? I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know if it can be. I think it maybe to a degree, If I think the only way it can be taught is with being present. Mm-hmm. When you start being present in life, when you mm-hmm. start being present in life, you start seeing things that are not being said when you become present. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the things that, I know with men that I have, I hear what they don't say and I can hear it and see it in a way that it's like, okay, okay, we need to deal with this issue, this issue, this issue. That's why I have so many male clients. And that's why they, they, what happens is they like, oh my God, a woman that finally gets me. I'm not here to be your girl because you have some other stuff that you, you know, you heal it. My job is to, to do this and keep it moving. One of my girlfriends said, she said, you're like a touch by an angel, like the movie. You sprinkle you what you do and then you just keep on. You know, you just keep on moving. And that was back in 2008. And I realized that's actually what it is that I do. I don't know how. I cannot tell you. It's not being arrogant. It's not thinking you better than anybody else. It's just this is what the gifting that I have, which is why I speak man. Well, you can kind of say it as God. I mean, that's all that's all I'm saying. That's all it is. It all it can be because I don't know. I, I don't. And I've always been this way. I've always been the girl that understood the guys when when there was a men's conference. And the men were on the panel. It might have been some women in the audience. I'm the only woman on the panel because I'm translating so mm. everybody don't start fighting in here. Mm. I'm translating what is. If they're, if I'm in a room with all men, all of a sudden, there's always a crowd around me. Not because I'm doing anything. Because you're being. Exactly. And it's always been that way. So, of course, it makes women feel uncomfortable at who she thinks she is. Why do women hate on other women that can... Well, I guess I get it when I think about it. You seem to know my husband more than... Than I do. Yes. And it's not anything that I'm doing. It's just, I see him. Yeah. I, that's all I see. him. my, my ex told me, he said, you've known me better than my wife that I was married to for 20 years and my mom. Here's the thing. 
And how you got me telling my little business. So anybody that might try to get at me, they, they might know what I'm doing. But I'll share this with you. I study my target. Hmm. Meaning, I don't go in looking at what I can get. It's the female version of Hitch, huh? That's what we're doing? Every, they call me that anyway. I might need to just start that little service up again. But I study. If I'm interested in you, I mm. need to know about you. I need to know what moves you. Yeah. I need to see if what I bring as a woman is a good fit for you. And the mm. only way I'm going to know that is by not looking at, well, what he going to do for me? I don't care about that because a woman who wants for nothing gets everything. Mm. Because me learning you and me showing you that I hear and see you gets me everything from you. Mm. So I don't go in looking at, well, let me see. Look, entertain me. Mm. The queen is here. Mm. Entertain, I don't go in like that. I go in to see where your pain points are. Yeah. I go in to see if your baggage is too much for me to carry or to help you unload. I'll say that. I go in looking to see, I want to see the little boy. Mm. I know your persona, but I want to see the little boy. I teach women how to talk to men differently than you talk to your girlfriend, okay? And so uh, women that are not ready to be in the feminine energy and buck the system, they don't listen to you. But when you as a woman come in the feminine energy and say, honey, that really didn't make me happy. You didn't say, honey, you did this. You said, honey, that didn't make me happy. Feeling words, yeah. Exactly. And you didn't place the blame on him. Men when you're having sex with a man, he's asking I've you. I've never. Uh, not had you. <laughs> sex with a man. Okay, nah, I'm not with you today. No. <laughs> but when a woman is having sex with a man, yeah. what y'all want to know is how does it feel? Which equals, am I making you happy? It's the Katie Bo Show.